<clears throat> What's up, everybody? My name is John Franco, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, last time I played on stream, uh, I finished the game. I really love the game. Finished it. Well, finished the story, at least. And what's some pretty fun stuff? Hey, I'm going to start the. Uh, the the frozen wild um, DLC stuff. So hopefully I'm prepared. I don't think it's going to be too hard, but we never know. So just gonna a little bit more comfortable. There we go. So this is going to be interesting, so I'm going to assume that there's going to be like a lot of cold enemies, so fire arrows are probably going to be my my best friend. What are you doing, Aloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. Ooh, I didn't think about that. That concerns the Eloy. It's the future. Uh, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you can do as you wish. Mm. Touch me. Yeah, Silence did have those blue like, cables things. Huh. I was not prepared for that. <clears throat> this will come in handy. Predator. I can see 
their critical hit. What? That wasn't enough? Whoa! <clears throat> something there more resources nice but this thing re resisted all the elements except for I think it was ice weird wow okay that's a welcome I guess okay that's him okay Up up here, Nora. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Okay, rude. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Okay, oh, what the? What is this? Smoke rising from the mountain. From the village, too. What's it for? Wow, this is whoa. Turn to us, and yet here we are. You died on Thunder's drum. He's like, What the hell? You're ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off.
Oh yeah, we saw some of them. Okay, so these are the tribes that try to like coexist with the machines. Okay. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it. For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the demon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you Music, fight wow. and die as well as they did? <clears throat> my courage, my spear. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok. We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon that frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice uh, for free. Uh, Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea. Spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Banuk. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, Everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed it. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Orea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Hmm. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave. All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. 
Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Oh, so much for my best customers. What's a Warwick? What are these Warwicks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clan back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Warwicks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warwicks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this Steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Who's we? We? Like Nintendo? We? <laughs> Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, hmm, how do I put it, uh... Women? I knew it. No, no, I was... Independent. The voice was so familiar, I quickly checked Eastern who was his voice. Candy. I knew it. He's Uncle Ruckus from the Boondocks. I knew it. <clears throat> I was like, his voice is so familiar. I want to know more about this data. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then, you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Uncle Ruckus, no relation. <laughs> but I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine. Like no one seen before. No, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk could tell me today. more about Araya or Thunderstorm. Many machine spirits Might be worth a shot. Device. Sean's pet. All right. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. Aurea. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an Outlander's. Damon. This Damon you talked about. <clears throat> if you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Songs of Edge? There are other Weraks in Songs Edge too? Yes. The village has its own lie for all the Nuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the balloon between frosts. Perhaps it will last. 
until the cars are seek war again. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. All right, bye. Well, I guess that's it then. <clears throat> Good. Prefer deeds to words. Right. What is this? Ben. Ooh. I need blue gleam. Interesting. I had a dream. <clears throat> you seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge. Without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. Uh -huh. So Deep Din is a place, and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. What is this place? Rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Okay. <laughs> But there's another village over there. Alright, that's my way. I'm gonna head up to this. It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Mm -hmm. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past, 
Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. <laughs> wow. So I can upgrade my spear even more? Right there, okay. Neat. Whatever happened. Any news from the hunt? The herd is a room far from the camp. Keep them together. <clears throat> Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is go to the Tomek. Hopefully the they are not going to attack me. Oh, it's over there. Oh, that's kind of wild. Oh, he didn't give a shit, okay. <laughs> he just saw the other guy get destroyed and he just didn't bat an eye. Alright. to fall down but okay oh come on nice Scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even manipulate it. But it would be pretty good. Thank you. 
Oh, you bitch. Whoa, what? Them, are they? What? There's another one? Are you serious? Final tonic part should be up here. Hey, bye.
I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Right, so I need to are uh, fighting each other. I'm gonna climb back up. That's a good idea, I guess. <laughs> Back to the tonic, I assume. Oh, here, okay. Well, that fits. Sure hope it works. Well, it's in better shape than it is. Okay, I'm right. I just need to get the power flowing through again. And if I'm wrong, at least no one's watching. Here we go. Wake you up. Too far. You guys are back already. You bitch! I don't have time for this. All right. Now I just have to reach its head. Whoa! There we go. Boom. I 
Now, woo, we have everything. Well, except for this. What is this? Oh, that's a village, I guess. Now it's kills. This way, find null two. A raccoon. What the heck is that? Demonic long leg. Wow. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Aurea. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. Tests. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. The daemon's work. Artox said this daemon was... Frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. Are these towers, are they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Where did Aurea go? Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. All right.
Okay, then. Let's see if this thing can work for me. Whoa. Nice. This one is a little weak too. Okay, we need to switch. Just see. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh, that's probably the, the tonic. I was like, what's making that the noise again? Right in the S. There we go. Dead. Since I'm already here, I'm already here. There's a snapshot. The ruin Lyle I was talking about. I do.
Oh, weakness is fire. Okay. I forgot. It's been a while. Come from. I don't know how I'm, how I managed to avoid that, and I'll take it. I'll take it. Idiot. Stupid. could overwrite the uh, snap job but I guess it, these ones are like demonic I can't that's a shame a real real shame Oh, I didn't need to defeat the snapshot. Oh, I thought I had to defeat the snapshot. I guess I don't need to. Okay. I seriously thought that I, I had to defeat the. Okay. Never mind then. There. That must be where the water's coming from. Looks like something in the ground's out. Somebody wanted in. They really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door.
Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? <laughs> Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water intake tower malfunction? I should be able to shut this place down from here. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. Should be able to shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. Hmm. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Use another hull piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. Yeah, I, th I thought there was more to it, but no, it's just... Alright, you can shut up, dude. I'm going to serve you, uh, help you. You say anything more? I don't wish to rush you, potentially imaginary rescuer. Take your time, of course, and happy to accommodate. Would that I could tell you this is my first time getting stuck mid delve. <laughs> no such luck, I'm afraid. Usually I have to get myself out of these predicaments, so you can imagine my relief. I'm just gonna give myself some water. Let's do this supper again. Two days wandering a ruin before I found an exit. Two full days! <laughs> this current arrangement of ours is preferable, of course. Not much wandering room in here. After all this anticipation, I'm even more excited to make your acquaintance than I was when I first heard you out there. All right, shut up. Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're... welcome? Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish ringy what's it's from the wall beside the door no luck so i had to go with that panel with the button even less luck my gentle experimentation caused the chamber to flood 
Oh. So I push the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. Oh, oh. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from... Wherever she'd gone to that time, I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and a mirror another, just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses, it's in the storage room. Oh, yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long. I, yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Bolden. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl, two sets of hands. Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. I guess we better get started then. I guess we better. What? Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Can he shut up? He's annoying. <laughs> One gate down. 
Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! It's too strong. I can't swim against it. It's even less refreshing than it looks. They jumped on their own. <laughs> Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. All right. Mm. I'd wager the bowels for the second sluice gator somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around. See what I can find. Nice jump. <laughs> nice. What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety! Thanks, I think. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. But Hang on, okay? I've got a plan. Okay, there we go. Well, uh... Oh, there we go. Alright, there we go. Very, very big. Just stay out of the way. Oh, 
It's dead. <laughs> You're right. Oh, the, uh, this thing did swallow the ring. Chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room, to the spoils. Shut up, please. <laughs> oh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? Do, this place but... is full of surprises. I wonder if I could empty out the have a look? Down. All right, pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. That's not quite right. Here, do, 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 do. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. <laughs> no, indeed. Not old Gildan. Something's not right. This one, no. This job demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? I'm afraid I inherited my mother's restlessness. There we go. Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? The door's open. Guess I'm sealed because of the flag. This must go down to the lower level. Ugh, it stinks down here. <laughs> Smell that? Smells 
look like a Ford side morning in a claim. See? Check this out. We could just bang on this pipe, you know? It... Could we sample that or? Totally. Like, what about after the. Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Laura? I am. Uh... Huh? Okay, weird. Uh... Looks like that's everything. We should head back up with Gildan. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room... Run, run, run before he, catch, he catches up. Let's get out of here. You smell that? Ooh, smells like a Ford side morning in a claim. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. Yeah. Wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. Run, before he catches up. Run, 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 run. Positions. Helpful. Uh, what? Um, what are you doing with your hands there, girl? No, wait. Oh, this one was supposed to stay. Wait. Left. Up. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. 
Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Uh, by the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh... Believe we have some repairs to make. Interesting. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow face okay, that wasn't weird. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out, too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? <laughs> You're braver than me. But there was no question of that. <laughs> you go on ahead. I'm gonna stand right here and bask in our victory for a while. Okay. I almost died. <laughs>
I'm very curious what it, it was. It like a house that she had at? Uh, Okay, now I understand what it is. Happy to be playing again? I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Ooh. Let's see. What shall I play next? The echoes are different, but stunning. The sound is warm. And I'm in level 40 now. Very nice. Alright. <laughs> no no took. Made you I made you wait uh I made you wait a little uh, for a long time. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal. ...that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light... ...frozen as it escapes their shells. But you might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout. 
A speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me. An aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up. Somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Whoa, look at him run. Sacred shit. I just want to make sure. Okay, that's this one. Okay. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. This is really beautiful. Must be one of the markers El Tuk told me about. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. 
Wrong way. Oh man, I'm... I hope that they point, they all just point to the right direction and I guess it's not like a. Into the cold, creepy ice cave. There's not like a, a secret passageway with resources because that would suck. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Another marker. Good. What's this one? Okay. Well. Okay, that way then. Is there an enemy? Chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. I can't cheese it, I guess. Oh, no, I see it. Okay. Okay. this way.
Oh, there were two of them. Ooh. So what's your weakness? Like Your stupid machine Oh, nice. I am under the map. I am under the map and I think that's why they can't reach me. This is amazing. This is amazing. Yeah. 
Okay. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is burning up. Come on, I, t I totally could reach it. I, I took a chance. Yeah. To do it again, ah. Oh. Really? Urban wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. Wait, was that a gorilla? A gorilla robot? What? Where is it? That looks like a big gorilla, what the hell? Oh, 
Yeah, I'm boss time. Big gorilla. There we go. Okay, it wasn't that hard. Scary new machine down. Now back to finding Maria. Which means we gotta climb. <sighs> Got too much already. We should be able to get up there. Must be painful. Wait, isn't she grabbing? There we go. Oh, 
This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. I guess I should take some blue gleam. Let's see what I talk a lot. Only one from all of this? Only one? Yo, that oh that's a the storm storm hawk, I think that's the name. Right? Oh we can't even see it. Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. While we are down bad. If the smell of her hair boy. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Nothing of interest, okay. nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Uh, we'll keep going first person like that, but... 
it's way slower. It worked, the door is there. We can activate it. Yay. Come on, jump. Could you imagine how cold and slippery this uh, those things would be? Fresh air ahead. I would have. I would have slipped up and died. Oh, jeez. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Campfire. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Wink. Hello? I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. Whisper is all I ask. To guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. Show you. Yes, show me. Please. Well, she's desperate. I am your goddess. Ooh, hold up, there's a bunch of audio stuff. But I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Okay, this one seems a little bit more complicated, but hello. That's it? Okay.
No more audio stuff open. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. There. Nope, wrong way. Sorry. Okay, it's here and it has to go. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. If I do this... Okay. okay. So it goes from here and it has to go over... Okay, I get it, I get it. Here. Here okay. Some time. doesn't work so from this one has to go down there okay I get it and then from this one over here there okay I starting to get it okay uh no it's not where in... oh no, no it's okay this one then One, this, oh, jeez, I was so close. Okay, no, okay, everything is okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I got it. There we go. Bam. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. Uh, your rational division return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is working. Orea, please. Transmission terminated. Alright, so first we had the Hades. First we had Hades, now we have this daemon. You heard it. Voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. 
She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Oh, now boy, I know for certain that a spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. And you know what, spirit? You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What help? did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. But what is the spirit? Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The demon? The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here. Then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her, if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was... the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. 
Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. He and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Tell me about Silence. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. All right. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Are you sure? Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratak? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. I'm gonna be she the chief. to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. Mm. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirax attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Ooh. Hey, your storm slinger. Overrides. I never did that one. Is it from the DLC? I guess. Uh... 
quick weapons. Huh? That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool one. Whoa! I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. So key, so at the bandit camp. And then I'll end the stream. Yo, hold on, this weapon is really cool. Uh, it's, yeah. Yeah. Easier when I was a kid. These are helpful. There they go. All the machines catalog. Okay. Nice. Gonna be a problem overriding that lance horn. 
catching it though. that shaman told me about. Long way down. And not natural either. Find the rail part. There might be a window here. Damaged. Just the new guard got to it. Here's one of the metal birds. Something's been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. So shit. Need a lead. Focus might find something. Hey, I can see that. the area with my focus maybe oh, I, I should move that flying machine over a little oh. and <laughs> hey, that's not how I'm supposed to do that oh I made it okay The slow move jump is so stupid. I don't know why they added that. Could use my focus. See what it turns out. Huh. Not so grounded after all. Now I can get across. Just have to go up. Also this. I hate, that's something that I almost always say, I hate how, look, I'm running, but then it stopped all momentum just so she ain't grab it. But I'm pretty sure she could have reached the platform with the jump, but... There's the door lock. I'll need to configure it. Hello. Ready. I didn't ask for a bunch of 
flying cameras, I need security, not surveillance, and security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. Okay. This guy has a little problem. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Shouldn't be hard to remove. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. I love this stuff. I like it. <laughs> oh, what? This thing will improve my spear, huh? Yay, I want to see that. Uh, let's, let's just... Yep. Story difficulty setting eases combat, allowing you to focus on exploration and narrative. The loading screens are so long. Why? Where is it to find her friend, the rock painter? Seems paintings mean a lot to the Banuk. Why did it? Why did I do so much damage from this? Li oh my god! It 
Is this what you- Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending. And, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No okay. need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Works for me. Might as well get started improving my spear. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm such an asshole. Okay. Let's see. Skill. Okay, I just have one. Uh, the last thing that I want to check also. It's gonna be stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sale, okay. So, Uncle Ruckus. What can I do for you, Bergrind? Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk, keen to trade with Outlanders. Then, they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. So, I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago. And I'm starting to worry about them. You're worried? Tell me, Bergrind. Are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. Uh-huh. What kind of deal was this, really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide nor hair. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with Banuk. That's shaman's work, you see. The hunters take down the machines. 
the shaman slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm, they weren't telling. But hammer to steel is not a happy story, whatever it is. You said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure. But I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. So they're leaving Banuk territory. Sensible behavior. Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. I'm not a debt collector, Bergrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. But uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> a scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll... consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. Osiram encampments creep closer to Banuk lands. They should exercise some caution. All right. This is where I'm going to stop for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. So yeah. On the next one. Um, uh, parts. <laughs> on the next one. I'm uh, going to continue the, the, the you know, DLC stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. This Damon, Damon thing. I do wonder if it's connected with uh, Gaia and Hades. Hades. We'll see. Anyway, that's got a bit for me. Thank you for watching and good night. father's guilt onto the new king's shoulders. These are different times. The Osiram. So don't forget to drink water, stay hydrated, and wear your 